Alright, hello everyone. I'm here making the vegetarian stuffed zucchini, which is totally delicious. Or you could make it with meat too, but uh, the first step is to boil the zucchini. I just used a half zucchini because I cut the other half off. I want to make uh, something else with it. So, um, so what you do, now that you've tested, and when the knife can go in fairly easily, I was trying to use my tongs, but get it out of the water because you want it to stop cooking at that point. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to put it in a bowl and then I'm going to let it cool down and start uh, chopping up uh, the rest of the, uh, the vegetables. So I'll be back in a minute to show you the next step. Okay everyone, I'm back with, uh, I'm going to dice up. I've been dicing up. I did a half an onion and um, a couple cloves of garlic and uh, this is all for our zucchini. I'm waiting for it to cool and I'm going to do a Roma tomato. And with the Romas, you gotta, this one's not too bad, you gotta get that inner stuff out. I don't know if I thought I'd do a quick demo on that. You know, usually, I guess you could leave it in, but I take that out. You know, get that uh, inner stuff out. Oops. And the little uh, pit there, or whatever that is, get rid of that. Okay, so I'll, I'll just show you. And then I wanna cut these up into nice little tiny pieces. And then I'm going to dice it. So then you have some nice little tomato chunks like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing, and I'll be back in a little bit to put it all together. All right, everyone. So these are pretty much cool. Um, the next step is going to be... I'm going to pat a little bit of this water, because this I'm going to use this bowl to mix my stuff in. We've got to get this... Uh, can we see this on camera? Yeah. Okay, we've got to get the, these are pretty much t cooled down. So the next step is we've got to get the, this out of here. So we, I take a spoon and we kind of, oops. <laughs> okay. And we kind of cut in here and we kind of get that out of there, that center, center part out, like so. Now I'm going to scoop out even a little bit more. And I'm going to set the, the shell aside because, of course, this is what we're going to use to stuff it. This is what's going to end up being stuffed, is this uh, the shell here. So that's the first one. Now, there's seeds in there. I think I leave some of the seeds in. I'm, it's one of the, I should have got this straight. I'm a little rusty on this. This is another thing I usually make once a year, in, you know, in the summer when the zucchinis start coming in the garden, and I, uh, I'll make this and... Um, it's a really hearty, really good meal. Okay, so I've got this stuff, but you can't just throw it in like this. This has to be chopped up again, too. So I'm going to chop it up. I think I'm going to leave these seeds in, if I'm not mistaken. Let me have a look at it when it's chopped up and see what, how we got there. Yeah, I'm going to leave the seeds in, because they're pretty soft. I'm cutting right through them with the knife, so I think we can leave them in. So I'm getting this all chopped down into nice, finely diced uh, pieces. almost a mush, kind of like a mush, I guess. Now, the the stuffing varies a lot. There's a lot of, and mo a lot of people put meat in it, and you definitely could do that. You could um, fry up some, you know, sausage or ground beef or Italian sausage and add it in, and that, you know, that's good too, but I feel like it's just so tasty without the meat. This is definitely a, a dish you can do vegetarian. Now, I don't know about vegan because I am going to use an egg, but vegetarian, yes. So this is all our inside of the zucchini. That's our base for the stuffing. Uh, I'm going to add uh, Roma tomatoes that we've diced up. Now on this, um, the onion and the garlic, I put it right in here raw. I mean, this is going to get baked and it's going to cook somewhat, but it's going to have a very strong flavor. The raw garlic, it, I mean, it does cook down somewhat, but if you think that that might be too strong for you or you don't like a really strong garlic taste like I do, then you might want to, that was about a half of an onion, half a small onion, and this is like two cloves of garlic. You may want to brown this up in a little olive oil and that kind of takes the edge off, softens it up somewhat. But I won't put it right in there raw. Um, it will get cooked somewhat. It won't be completely raw. But it's going to have a very strong garlic flavor because it's not going to be uh, cooked down. So we got all that in there. I've got my little fork here. Um, 
I'm also going to add some Parmesan or Parmesan Romano cheese, uh, which is what I have here. Give that a good sprinkle in there. And then you're going to add some breadcrumbs. I'm going to do what I've been doing, which is add a little breadcrumb and add a little panko. I really like panko a lot. I think panko is awesome. I'm going to start switching to pure panko, I think, soon. So that's about it. That's what I'm, I mean, there's so many variations. You could uh, put, oh, here's my secret ingredient. I have an egg here too. My secret ingredient, oh, <laughs> my secret ingredient is a, a, a dash of some spicy Bloody Mary mix. And to me, that is the thing that just gives it a little bit of a, so I'd say I use a teaspoon or so in there of, of a spicy Bloody Mary mix and one egg. And then I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to blend this all together. Mmm, this really smells really, really good. I can't wait to have it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I think it needs a little bit more. It's a little bit on the... Uh, liquidy side so I'm going to just add a little more panko in there or breadcrumb whatever you're using just to absorb some of that egg and some of that moisture panko okay this is more of the texture what it should look like kind of like that it's a lot here okay so now I'm going to go back to my shells I'm going to make this right in the toaster oven I mean you could make it in a regular oven definitely but it's summertime why heat up the house using a regular oven I love my little, I have a piece of onion on me. I love my little toaster oven. This is quite a bit. I, this might be too much. Now, if you were going to use a whole zucchini, that might be preferable. Um, I just made these two little ones like this. This doesn't, uh, it's okay to heat up, but I'm not th actually that thrilled with heating it up later. If you store it in a container, it tends to get like some kind of like mushy. So these are best eaten right away, I found. I mean, you you can heat them up later, and it, you know it's not it won't be terrible, but I think these are best fresh out of the toaster oven, with a little bit of melted cheese on top. I think that's the way we want to have uh, this. Also, I'm going to serve this up. I'm using my fingers a little. Um, I'm going to serve this up with some marinara. I'm going to use my old fateful you know spaghetti sauce that I like, but you could use any kind of marinara that you wanted. Um, that is like also like a, you cut it up and then you use it to dip, you, know, you dip, dip the pieces in. I'm not going to put it in now. I'm going to heat the marinara separately. Like in, you could do it in the microwave or in a little saucepan or something. And then that will be kind of like a dipping sauce or drizzle over. But I want it to cook first like this. Uh, I'm going to use my hand. I'm going to try to get this all in there. I think I might have used a little bit too much, um, make, have a little bit too much filling here, but we're going to make it fit. <laughs> we're going to make it work. I'll put these tomatoes on top. Because yeah. uh, it'll work. We'll work it out. All right. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to use my hands and I'm just going to like press that right in there like so. I catch it in this, those grooves in the toaster oven deal here. This little tray thing kind of hold it right in place. Okay, and then the last step would be a little bit of, I need to wash my hands off a little. It would be a little bit of uh, shredded cheese. This is uh, Parmesan Romano Asiago. Fresh shredded, of course, would be preferable, probably more tasty. But this keeps, you know, I have this around and it keeps because I don't use it every day. If I buy it, I'll end up, you know, using it for one dish and then it'll go bad and I'll throw it out. So I, this keeps longer. I mean, it's, like I said, not as good as fresh, but because I don't use it every day, it's, it's the, uh, the best option for me. So I'm just going to get some of that cheese right on that top of it. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the toaster oven, and I'm not even sure how long I'm going to cook it. I'll let you know when I take it out. Um, but I'm going to put it in about a 3, 350 on the toaster oven. And um, 
I'll, I'll just keep checking it. And when this gets kind of brown and crusty and the cheese gets kind of crusty on top, and then it's done. So this is awesome. I'll, I'll check back in when we pull it out of the oven in a little bit. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, so it's done. The stuffed zucchini is done. Get a nice look at that. You can see that it's sort of starting to get like crusty and brown. I mean, if you don't like it this cooked, then don't cook it this long. Uh, this was about 40 minutes. And I've just warmed up a little spaghetti sauce in the, the microwave. And I'm going to spoon it right over the top, like so. And there it is. Voila. Vegetarian stuffed zucchini. Enjoy.